Two huge doubts in the banks that wouldn't let me sleep. I couldn't find a way out of it. I spent my time in depression and crying. I was really drowning in debt. I was a person who owed almost $200,000. I had a ton of debts for like 20 years. I was feeling down in the dumps. I started to let go, to leave behind the fears, to leave behind the doubts. I managed to free myself from everything from that heavy and painful burden. I felt calm and confident speaking to the Department of Criteria and presenting them with my payment proposal. I've already paid off all the debts and I almost have this house completely bought. I have enough money now because previously I didn't have enough. I had six investments. Imagine getting rid of a $200,000 debt and on top of that, having something to invest now. It's awesome, thanks a lot. It's a total blessing, and I mean like a really big one, like huge. I'm happy because I'm free. Hello there, how are you doing? It's a pleasant afternoon. Welcome to the 15th class of this intensive course on biblical finance. We're glad to have you here. It's wonderful that you're here with me today, and the topic for today is absolutely fantastic. I would like to pose a question to you at this moment. Who wants to make more money? Yeah, you want, yeah? Before we start today's class, I want to tell you that it's a great pleasure to have you here in our Biblical Finance Intensive at the Christian Rich Ministry. I am Taylor Tan Campos, a financial life mentor from the Christian Ministry RICO. I would like to know the location of each one of you and where you currently reside. Let's take a look, shall we? How good now then we are all present here together in this moment. Look, the topic for today is specifically for you to learn how to generate extra income or a greater amount of income by serving people in order to earn more money. How delectable in a Christian manner. Firstly, you must understand that, as I always say, it is not an increase in money that solves your financial problems. You know what I mean, right? This is a crucial lesson for you. However, to ensure effective stewardship, including managing your time, as I previously discussed in our intensive session, and to increase your income, you need to carefully consider and capitalize on the opportunities that God has bestowed upon you, all right? Because I know you desire to earn additional income, you aspire to have your finances in order, then generate extra money and commence investing to fulfill the dreams that God has for your life, correct? Where are the highly dedicated, highly committed students of our classes? Write it to me in the chat, hashtag highly dedicated, hashtag highly committed. Who desires to attain financial peace? Do you desire to? Now you already possess knowledge regarding the correct definition of good stewardship. We already talked about this in our intensive. Classes are a sequence, you know? So here in this intensive, we've even talked about debts, investments, how to start a business, how to negotiate debts. However, at present, all of these subjects and numerous additional ones will be discussed during the upcoming Christian week. I am in charge of managing my finances, which is scheduled to commence tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it is the most important class that you cannot miss. It will commence tomorrow. It is a class that has been recorded. We're gonna send the link to the class in the intensive WhatsApp groups. If you're not already in any of the WhatsApp groups, please check out the link provided down below this video. You simply need to become a member of a group, all right? And if you have not yet subscribed to our event, please subscribe at this moment. There is still an ample amount of time, right? The event invitation is right here, okay? And another crucial piece of information as well. You also have the option to share your link by using your invitation link. It is also important to share. That is very, very Christian. Furthermore, one more thing. Pay attention throughout our intensive because our intensive biblical finance program has a designated start day. Yes, it has an end day as well. Afterwards, you will start missing me, so you must prioritize. It is of utmost importance to make it a priority in your life, not to miss any classes here in our intensive biblical finance course. Even at the conclusion of our intensive, in the WhatsApp group, we are going to provide a certificate of participation free of charge, exclusively for individuals who are part of the intensive's WhatsApp group, yes. Additionally, please be attentive to the keywords. Furthermore, I will discuss how you have the opportunity to win a cash prize of $200 at the conclusion. 
So only at the end of this intensive, for those who participated in our entire event, okay? The class of our whole event, okay? Okay. So let's go ahead with enthusiasm, right? Who wants to have more content today? And look, today I'm going to keep providing you with content for your transformation and preparing you for the next stage. Let's work because it starts tomorrow. Shall we go together? I also talked about the multiplication law in the last classes, you know, the law of servitude, the law of the fifth part, and the significance of multiplying the seeds that God places in your hands. These are all biblical principles of finance, and there are many others as well. This is just a taste of what we've seen so far in this course, which already it is nearly completed. Why? Because you already know this is simply the warm up for what is about to come starting from tomorrow. Who will have possession of it? Support material, exercises, and practical classes. So you got to pay attention tomorrow because the Christian week starts. I got my finances under control. You know what I'm saying? And there's much more to come. And I know those who have been following here and watching all the events classes so far and even jotting down the phrase of the day, the key word, are really enjoying it. Yes or yes, huh? We've had a ton of positive comments on our social media. Even I pose the question, have you observed the documentary, The Power of the Bible in Financial Life? Yes or no? Write it to me in the chat, huh? Look, if you haven't seen it, do it right now. Don't miss it. So let's move on to today's topic. Let's go. Today, I'm going to answer a question that many people ask me a lot, okay? What is up? How can I enhance my income and generate more money and ensure that you continue to maintain control over your finances as well? So I want to know who here wants to make more money. Do you want to? Kindly write it to me in the chat. I have a strong desire to receive the information. It is crucial that you should discuss this matter in detail. Write it to me. I desire it here in the chat. Incredible. I am examining over here. Great indeed, indeed. I am aware that on occasion, renting a room in your residence, for instance, or your vehicle, or items you have in use within the house, can be somewhat challenging and require careful consideration. These are just a few instances of increasing one's income. Those potential opportunities in a certain sense can be challenging at times because of security concerns. However, here I bring you another perspective of financial metanoia for your life. What is financial metanoia? It is a shift in mindset. Perhaps this specific moment is an opportunity to awaken a talent within you that you never even imagined existed before in your life. Yes or yes. Remember that a moment of crisis is a moment of creativity and even opportunity. I am going to inform you about a really brief story at this moment, okay? Take a look. During the period of the Great Depression crisis of 1929, which occurred many, many years ago in Brazil, Brazil held the distinction of being the largest exporter of coffee in the world. However, it was only that due to the crisis, the United States no longer had the desire to purchase coffee from Brazil. And Brazil used to produce a great amount. So the coffee producers from Brazil came up with the concept of roasting and grinding the coffee beans in order to extend its shelf life. That is how ground coffee, such as Nescafe, came into existence and it is still being sold in the present day. Behold, behold, a matter of great opportunity in the midst of a crisis. Are they present in this location? Yeah. Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to you? So a new product that is being sold up until this day was created because of a problem, because of a crisis. Do you realize? Yes. Yes. So look, how can we perceive the necessity of that particular moment which led to the alteration resulting in the creation of a fresh product? So what alterations occur today? What modifications will the current moment bring about in terms of your income? What modifications can you implement to increase your earnings and generate more income? What additional sources of income will you acquire considering the conditions and circumstances you have today? That is a good question for you. I am going to do more. Look, stay with me. Assisting you in considering it 
precisely from our perspective and accomplishing it is my current challenge with you today in this place. Let us proceed further and continue working together towards achieving our goals. The problem is that many people want to make more money, have more income, but they get stuck in obstacles that they see as a roadblock. However, they fail to comprehend that the very same stone possesses the potential to be transformed into a bridge. Indeed, behold, a rock and a bridge. Yes, unquestionably, it is indeed a bridge. What drives you to go further? Indeed, a bridge. So observe, an individual is going to observe, ah, this is a stumbling block, an impediment that hinders progress. Other individuals are going to be watching, no, this is a bridge situated on the road that allows me to go further and make more progress. To help you earn more and increase your income, I'm asking for your assistance today. Can you provide it? Yeah, I'm dead serious about this. Look, what is it that's really stopping you from making money nowadays? Truly, affirmative. You have got to speak the truth. One more query. What is holding you back from generating additional income at present? with the circumstances you possess. I'm aware that some individuals may be typing in the chat, but please take a moment to see if those aren't just excuses you're making. Those are serious excuses. Why? Because many times we think that the problem is the lack of jobs, I don't have money, a crisis, low sales, the annoyance. Often you must pay close attention and carefully analyze to determine the true nature of the issue. Why is this necessary, you may wonder? Based on the experience I have had with my students and mentees, this is not always true in my observation. The topic you're referring to, your perspective on it, is not entirely aligned with the actual truth. I'm going to tell you another really short story so you can understand better. Look, when I reach that point of increasing income with my mentees from the complete program, Your Control or Miss Finances, I often feel like they can't make more money. Do you know why? I'm going to talk to you now. It's a golden piece of advice. I'm here giving you gold because I really delve into this with my students, but I already start like this because they do not believe they are capable of doing it. You seem to be very serious. Why not come and hang out with me today? They have the belief that they are not capable of generating new income or increasing their own. And as a result, they put up some obstacles. For example, one common obstacle is the excuse of not having enough time. I lack skills. I lack sufficient talents. I lack financial resources. My family does not provide assistance. My partner does not provide assistance. I lack knowledge in sales. I lack financial resources and so forth. But look, it's important for you today. This is identified in a moment of crisis and some people taken by pessimism or in a moment that is not a crisis, only because of the pessimism they have and the commotion that the media has caused in people and the commotion of information that is in your head. The fact is that you need to consider the following, regardless of whether you're in a crisis or not, and regardless of whether it's one case or another. The factors that restrict your income growth have very little to do with external circumstances. Very little indeed. I have no doubts whatsoever about this. Look, the thing that limits you and holds you back when it comes to increasing your income is your way of seeing and thinking. As an illustration, I've already elaborated on the tenses in our class, haven't I? The affluent individuals possess the identical 24-hour time frame as the less privileged, don't they? And look, one more thing, you can observe the glass. I possess a glass at this location. The glass is filled halfway or has been emptied halfway. It depends on your perspective. I can have a look. Ah, this is completely full, not just half full. That is truly awesome. Ah, this is kind of empty. That is just my humble two cents. And the Bible explicitly states that as you think, so you are in reality. Yeah, yes or yes. Yes, it's in Proverbs 23, 7. Team, put in the chat, Proverbs 23, 7. If you have the belief that it is impossible to enhance your income, then that perception will indeed become your reality and hold true in your life. If you believe it's possible to increase your income, it will also be true. Look how amazing. 
And that is because starting from that moment, your mind will unlock and initiate the process of thinking about alternative options. It is akin to a splinter that you extract from your eyes, irrespective of whether we are in a state of crisis or not, whether we're in trouble or not, whether we like it or not, we find ourselves in situations with problems. Why? Is it your mind that is responsible for this? People still need to consume along with other aspects of their lives. People continue to shop frequently. People continue to have ongoing needs that require fulfillment. What needs to be fulfilled? Although to a lesser extent at times, money still continues to circulate and change hands in the economy, even if not as prominently as before. This is genuine. I am an economist and a lawyer. I have no uncertainties regarding this. You do not require technical education to possess this knowledge. I am giving it to you at this moment. If, on one hand, there is a requirement for additional earnings to meet your monthly budget, which you require today, on the other hand, there are numerous individuals who require products and services that offer community and security during these times for their livelihoods. You simply need to identify the opportunities in the midst of chaos or the moment that you are currently experiencing. You need to identify the opportunities that you have in your life in order to succeed. Yes or yes, I have no doubt that there are opportunities you're not seeing today. Are you all here with me? Let us talk more about this. Look, I am going to give you some examples here. How to create cakes, meals, crafts, sell online, online services, and generate revenue through online sales. There are numerous other alternatives. When it began, for instance, the pandemic, individuals commenced selling masks, and the assistance of the king was the necessity of the moment, of that particular moment. Today, individuals have various requirements that you are able to fulfill. Well, however, you can inquire of me, how am I able to generate additional revenue and uncover what I am capable of? In what way? At the Christian Ministry RICO, we firmly believe that our financial life should be based on obedience to the principles that the Bible teaches us about finances. Is this true or not? Without a doubt. Yeah, you get it? Yes, we're already here in our 15th class. And tomorrow we're going to start our Christian week of I Control My Finances. It's really important that you don't miss any classes. It's a tender one. We'll have support material, Facebook community. So it is a very, very special event. And look, one of the most important principles of the Bible in one's financial life, without a doubt, is the principle of Christian stewardship. in which we believe we must be good stewards of everything that God puts in our hands. Our money, our time, our family, and even, I'm going to talk to you now, your talents. Your talents, indeed, are a part of what God has given you to manage. There is no doubt about it. I am informing you that the more effectively you nurture the abilities that God entrusts to us, the greater amount he will bestow upon you. Affirmative or affirmative talents, affirmative, bear resemblance to our muscles. We must cultivate them, affirmative, cultivate them to a great extent, engage in exercises to enhance and reinforce their strength. Yes, and a multitude of professionals have made use of social media, for example, not only to promote their work to a wider audience than usual, but also to offer new and innovative ways of providing services that were previously unavailable. And this is really good. So physical workouts have turned into online workouts, online cooking classes too, language teachers, mentoring, food chef. And those are some examples of the changes we are seeing in our lives. Even though your idea doesn't generate much money right now, pay attention to this. You have an idea about your journey. Do you comprehend the significance of thinking more positively about her? You are sowing the seeds. Plant the initial seed of a business that has the potential to be profitable in the future. Explore your talents. Begin with the seeds you already possess. Commence with the seeds that God has already placed in your hands. Super, super yes, 
Awesome. I have a really big, strong sentence for you. Yes, it's God in our life here. God is the Holy Spirit in our class. I know there's someone who needs to hear this. Begin with small steps, yet have ambitious aspirations. This is not merely a model for our group, but rather it holds significant, profound significance. Understand that maybe, for example, employment with a signed contract is becoming increasingly scarce. It's just that work can still be found and there are ways to make money and that they exist in abundance. People are there with needs. The secret is to look for alternative sources of income, not just employment, because there are many people who only focus on the signed contract, on the job. Check out your talents. Check out the talents that God has placed in your hands. Now, this is what I call Christian. This is definitely from God. And I talk a lot about this with my mentees because I focus on my mentoring to have my finances under control and make money to spare. And I'm going to talk about a fundamental principle today to increase income. There's always a demand that needs to be met. Put this in your mind. Is turning a talent into an extra source of income or finally creating a strategy to start a complementary career to the one you already have a good thing? You know that to start this, you have to apply a powerful biblical principle. Yeah, yeah. Now look at your Bible now. Look now in Luke 16, 10, 12. Team, look at Luke 16. Put it in the chat now. Luke 16, 10, 12. The person who is faithful with a small amount is also faithful with a large amount. Isn't that correct? Currently, I imply affirmative, affirmative. I imply being loyal in the management of the minor details and tasks. Yes, the Bible does. Speak about being faithful in the little things. Are you being faithful in the little things? Yes or no? The word says that when I am faithful in the administration of the little that God gives me, he puts me in the much. It is not just the tithe, no, it is way more than that. However, that is not what the Bible says. No, there is much more to it. The Bible is not merely discussing tithing, no. Even I will be discussing numerous additional biblical principles during the Christian week, which commences tomorrow. If you have not yet signed up, take action now. The hyperlink to our Christian week event is located below this video. Don't miss out on this opportunity. And one more thing, it is highly recommended that you join the WhatsApp group for the Biblical Finance Intensive so that you can receive the link for the Christian Week of Masterclass 1. Let's get to work. This Masterclass is very practical and will be live tomorrow. Don't miss out, okay? Christian Week commences tomorrow. Therefore, being faithful in the small things is effectively managing the little that you possess. Be attentive to this, you know, paying close attention to and emphasizing this fundamental principle here is the first thing I teach my students, the principle of good management, right? The principle of stewardship, Christian, in a proper manner, in a manner that many English individuals do not discuss or converse about it, you know? Look, we need to optimize the cases in order to have seeds for multiplication and investment. Does that make sense to you? How is the multiplication process going to occur if you do not have seeds? However, you still have to carry out good management practices. That way you can discover how to do more with the resources that God has already put in your hands. After working on expense optimization with my mentees, I commence working with them on potent strategies to boost and maximize their income potential. I will give you a small example. Take a look at Sueli's testimony. Good evening, my name is Sueli. I'm part of the group I Control My Finances, and the testimony that I have to provide during this course period were only positive things that occurred and took place. I came across this course on Facebook, and I decided to join the Week of Weeks course that was specifically focused on the Christian life and taught us the significance of being good stewards, which was something I had never encountered before and found incredibly enlightening. From there, I proceeded to enroll in the course. I am thankful that I have no debts. I have prior commitments, so I have the cards available. I successfully paid everything and entered as agreed. And it wasn't very hard for me to want to be part of this course because I wanted something different. I do not have any debts, but nevertheless, my money does not make a distinction, correct? And from that point, I began to observe via the information via the group's mentorship, 
that I could eliminate a lot of things, correct? And through learning from the course itself, I realized what an expense framework was. And from there, I started to understand what was mandatory and what was not. I was able to eliminate these values that did not contribute anything. Therefore, I have an average of nearly 1,000 REAIs in yearly expenses. Downloaded telephone bills, bundle of bills, powers, accounting powers. So there are many things I discovered during the course that I could accomplish and that I was like all of a sudden wasting my money, saving my money and investing in a leaky bag. So like on average, I was able to save nearly a thousand dollars that I didn't actually need to spend and was responsible for paying. Another perspective is that like I have one ready, but I'm managing to negotiate with the parents in a way that neither I lose nor they do. And also through the course, I was able to spot other talents like these and make some extra money, which has been really helpful for me to cover my expenses during the pandemic. And I believe that soon, once all this is over, this extra income will already be part of the safety net. Although I had some money sitting in savings, which doesn't count as extra income because it was little, it also opened my mind to see that investing is not just for the wealthy or millionaires, and you don't even need a lot of money. We can invest, we can start to have a little prejudice. Actually, the whole course opened my eyes to managing money and knowing that it has to work in my favor. That's what we learn. So I got to thank the whole team. All will go well. Good. Look, Sueli, just like I showed you, she learned how to increase income even during a crisis. Many people don't think a finance professional can help with income increasing strategies, but they're mistaken. They think, no, finance is just cutting, cutting, cutting. This ain't it. Some people call me like that. Oh, you're a finance expert. I believed he solely taught how to reduce costs. No, no, my individuals, this is not the case. Living a life of richness by obeying God brings fulfillment and a sense of purpose. You have to enjoy your money as well, man. The principle of I deserve it is also an important principle that I frequently discuss with my mentees. It's a principle that they like the most, I deserve it, and it's also important. The financial mentor is like the coach of the team who will give you the strategies and exercises you need to reach your ultimate goal. You know what I'm saying? And it's more than just a consultant or a financial expert who helps you look at expenses, you know? You have to exercise the mindset of how to find alternative ways of income. And is this possible? Yes, I want to do it now with you all who also follow me here. A very doable exercise, okay? I desire to open your mind to what is possible. Leave the impossible to God because there are a multitude of individuals who already express, ah, this is impossible. No, you got to look at what's possible for you. Are you doing everything you can for what? What can you do? Leave the impossible to God. However, listen, you have to take action. Yes, always. That's important. And now I'll tell you how people act. The movie is always the same, you know. You can start imagining now, right? I am aware I need to cut down on expenses, you know. At first, look, when you're thinking about increasing your income, when I talk about alternative income streams, you think you can't do it. What is painful? But soon, what is going to happen? When you're looking at your talents, and I talk a lot about talents, when you have a strong intimacy with God, something you enjoy doing and with great results, it's something incredible in your life. I would like to encourage you to contemplate alternative approaches to earning money today. Just bear in mind that this does not absolve you from practicing the fundamental principle of being faithful in managing the small amount that God has already bestowed upon you today, all right? So you got to think about the possible, about alternative ways of income too. It is a modification in behavior and that initiates completely in your mindset. You are an embodiment of your thoughts and beliefs. Exactly as you think, it will drive your actions to generate the desired results you are aiming for. Do you want to have a different outcome from what you have today? Yes or no? Hit me up in the chat. I want to I wanna manage finances, have extra funds, start investing to fulfill God's dreams in your life. Take control of your money now. Contact me in the chat. I'm available. Are you receptive to new ideas on generating additional income? Is that acceptable? 
do not let yourself get caught up in the problems. Do not let yourself get caught up in the obstacles. However, place your focus on finding the solution. Look for the answer to your prayer that comes directly from God. Observe the solution and disregard the problems. Yeah, I understand this. It is the solution. I'm going to focus on the solution, not the problems. And I want to highlight here today a key biblical principle for this, which is the law of humility. It's content, you know, very important today. Content and highly significant principle for increasing income. The law of servitude is of utmost importance. Look, look now a biblical story. Jose from Egypt didn't make Egypt the richest nation of his time because he only accumulated a fifth of what it produced. It would be futile to accumulate and not take any action with that production. Yes or no? Do you comprehend? Look, simply accumulate. You're not accomplishing anything substantial. The reason Jose and Egypt became wealthy was by providing assistance to other countries during times of crisis. During the drought, when many neighboring nations were facing the threat of starvation, Jose was providing and selling essential supplies to those nations in need. Individuals were purchasing. The act of selling in this context carries the implication of providing a service. Okay, do you understand? So Jose de Ripto was selling products to people. Selling is not a bad thing. Selling is serving. There are individuals in need. So they are here serving people in need. So. The initial thing I want you to extract from your mind today is that image that good salespeople are the individuals who push things. No, if you want, yes. If you don't want to, it's no big deal. A good salesperson is the one who serves. He is providing something individuals require. If you want, it's great. If you do not want, that's fine as well. If you have children, you have already learned too. Look, you have had to talk to them about how I do my best for them on numerous occasions. So you have served your children on numerous occasions. So I want you to start contemplating now about enhancing your income based on this potent biblical principle, which is the law of servitude. It is your foundation. It is something biblical. It is something Christian in nature. I will give you another example now. Are you here with me? Where are we highly committed and dedicated? Write in the chat, get super committed, get super committed with enthusiasm. Let's move forward. We're reaching the end of our class. All right. Just a little while longer. You're contemplating a coffee shop. She generates wealth in proportion to the number of individuals she serves. Do you agree with that assessment? If one person is enough, just one invoice. If it serves many people, a higher billing. Then do that for yourself. It is really important that you keep this in mind. The more people I serve, the more wealth I will generate. Wow, incredible. Being wealthy is not solely about having numerous servants, but rather about serving the greatest number of people and making a positive impact on their lives. The richest people in the world are the people who serve a lot of other people. Check out the Apple's gift. How many individuals does it serve? Take a look at Samsung's gift. Take a look at the prominent figure of the large corporations. It serves a whole bunch of people, like a whole bunch. So being rich is not about having many servants, but about serving the most. There's an important phrase here, you see. The more people I serve, the more wealth I generate. Awesome, right? So pay attention to this. I'm going to do it again. The more people I serve, the more wealth I generate. All right? Now contemplate how you can be of service to individuals. Ponder how you can be of service to the people in your vicinity and make a positive impact on their lives. While you're thinking about how you can use your gifts and talents to help people. All right, so I want you to practice the following exercises here. How can you reach more people right now? What do people require? What are they consuming? Take a look. What are they consuming? What are the requirements? If you recite this, you'll become skilled at finding new ways of income and soon you'll be able to stop relying on a job or the current business format you have today. This is the movie that I get tired of seeing people changing, changing and doing something that you like more. Awesome. Super. And it is from this type of income that I am talking about today here that accelerates the change towards financial independence. Today, I encourage you to contemplate alternative avenues for generating income in your life and explore different ways to diversify your earnings. So don't worry if you think I can't sell anything. I don't know how to sell and I don't like it. 
Stop focusing on the sale and start focusing on how to serve. Examine your Bible in the book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. It states, as each person has been given a gift, they should utilize it to serve others, acting as responsible caretakers of the diverse grace bestowed by God. Let's go to another verse, Mark 9, 9, 35. Sitting down, Jesus gathered the 12 disciples, 12 disciples and said to the 12 disciples, the 12 disciples, sorry, if anyone wants to be the first, they will be the last and the servant of all. Yeah, take a look at the concept of serving. Is the alternative form of income that typically appeals to you something you generally enjoy? What can you do at no cost? Because it stems from your skills and you derive pleasure from serving in those capacities, you know? Romans 12, 7 is like this. If your gift is to serve, then serve. If it is teaching, teach. And this is referenced in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 7. Is that correct? You have to utilize all of your gifts and talents. And this is the grand concept. When you truly uncover this, you will clearly see the prosperity and abundance that exist in your life. Additionally, make sure to check out Matthew 10, 24 as well. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. So now I want to give you some quick ideas on how to generate income without leaving home. However, if I were to go directly to them, I could potentially be providing you with the fish instead of teaching you how to fish. You understand? So you have to start thinking about how to reel it in. I am not here to give you the fish. No, you need to figure it out on your own. I want to teach you how to catch it, right? So I want to teach you how to catch it. Let's move forward here with enthusiasm. So check it out here. You know, do you agree that there are individuals who need to make purchases online at this very moment? Yes or yes. I'm going to give you some examples of how to increase your income. Yeah, pay attention. We are approaching the conclusion of our class, and it is simply our warm-up for Christian Week, which is scheduled to commence tomorrow. Look, pay attention. Tomorrow, Christian Week, I take control of my finances, Masterclass 1. Who's going to watch Masterclass 1 in the early hours? Hit me up in the chat. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, it is awesome, incredible, the Christian Week Masterclass 1. I am in control of my finances, and it's truly empowering. It'll have more content than this? A whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. Let's go. Dude, you can totally sell products from other online stores, for example. For instance, you can provide individuals with the opportunity to purchase essential items online and receive a commission in return. And where do I see this, doctor? Look, you can check it out on websites and affiliate marketing sites, on Amazon, on SocialSol. There are a lot of places that have that affiliation possibility, you know? Two, be an affiliate of an online course. There are platforms that sell online courses and you can choose some online courses to sell and also earn commissions for it. This is what we call affiliation. It's a really good thing. Dude, you can totally set up an online store, an e-commerce with practically zero investments. There are plenty of websites and the internet for that. Take pictures of your products, create your online store. It's a possibility. Four, I really enjoy preaching. The word of God, yes, indeed, it exists. It happens for you. It's awesome. So you start your Instagram, you start your YouTube channel to spread the word, help your church create the church channel, and charge for ads on the sermons. You can study about this on YouTube, for example. Why not take advantage of this opportunity to share the word of God with others? And you can also put ads in the videos, for example. As soon as YouTube starts watching, share this video, make a profit like that and reinvest it. These are already seeds, okay? But in this strategy to achieve something relevant, you see, you have to start gaining an audience, you know? So it's something for the medium and long-term, but you can start, you should start with the seeds you have today, okay? Another idea, buddy, you can offer your services online. If you know how to translate, you can offer translation services, typing and video editing. The possibilities are limitless. If you are a freelancer on the different freelancer platforms that exist, then you can observe that there are numerous, numerous possibilities for alternative sources of income. And you must discover your strengths and passions and then align them with the needs of others through meaningful connections. 
always thinking about how it can serve more people, you know. And I'm telling you, ask God to bless your plans. This is crucial. It's in Proverbs 16, 3. No matter what you're going to do, you must always be obedient to God. Look at your Bible, Proverbs 16, 3. I really like that verse. Ask God to bless your plans. So have plans and it will turn out well for you. Okay. And if you enjoyed this video, our class for today, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Write it in the comment section in the chat box. Write it if you liked it. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, kindly subscribe now without any delay. Yes. And if you haven't signed up for the Christian week, I control my finances, which starts tomorrow. Pay attention. Know that it's a closed and free event only for registered participants. Okay. If you haven't registered yet, Click on the link provided below this video, secure your spot at no cost, and remain in the group to receive your complimentary participation certificate. And there are numerous additional items until the final day of our intensive biblical finance, all right? And in these classes, we transform your mindset. And there at the Christian Wake event, we will delve into the details and get down to the business of achieving success. Let's go. Arriving at the phrase of the day's class, which is, Serving is putting your gifts and talents into practice. Look, super. Awesome. He nailed it. Serving is putting your gifts and talents into practice. In the next class, you'll learn where to start to have your finances under control and how to achieve financial control. It is a super cool class tonight. You cannot let her slip away. We have reached the end of today's class. I am going to repeat the phrase, the keyword for today from our class. I apologize. It is the phrase of the day's class. Serving is putting your gifts and talents into practice. Quote from class 15, sorry. And the keyword is talento, talent. If our keyword of our class and the keyword is talento, talent. If our keyword of our class. So listen up. Tomorrow, the Christian week begins. I'm in control of my finances. Please pay attention and ensure to check out the Masterclass One logo soon, all right? Therefore, may God bless you abundantly, and we will see each other in the near future. Goodbye, and take care. Because after the rich Christian, I start to see life in a different way. My financial problems were fading away. A mortgage on my house, which I would take another eight years to pay off. I tell you that today I own a paid off house. There are several other debts that were troubling me and having the ability to do something that had not occurred in years in my life. Having extra money, having extra money of mine, my money never used to be extra. So managing to have some extra to invest as advised by the rich Christian in the portfolio we are following, following the completion of the course, I successfully managed to have some money left over from my salary, which was an achievement I hadn't been able to accomplish for a number of years. I managed to pay off the debts, a debt of 23,958, if I'm not mistaken at the time. In a span of 60 days, I managed to completely pay off this debt. This to me was an invaluable accomplishment that I can't put a price on. In addition to that debt, later on, I also paid off another debt. So for me, this was crucial. So at this point in time, now that I have a certain amount of money left over from my salary, I started making an investment as well. I began investing some money and I did not have a car, I used to walk. I have a car now, it is not a fancy one, but I have a car in my garage now. This, in my opinion, is absolutely priceless. Wow, what an overwhelming feeling. I am filled with immense happiness and gratitude. I state that the wealthy Christian was positioned in my existence at a critical juncture. It was of utmost importance. So, the rich Christian was truly remarkable. It compelled me to completely empty myself and wholeheartedly believe that those incredible people were there to provide unwavering support, invaluable mentorship, and invaluable guidance on how to truly eliminate debts, achieve a well-balanced financial life, make wise investments, generate additional income, unearth hidden talents, and gain clarity on my desired path in life. I've already organized myself. I no longer have to borrow from loan sharks. I no longer have the private shops and businesses I had before because it was getting difficult. Everything is under control. My financial life is completely under control. I don't have that worry. One of the things I constantly had was power cuts. I couldn't handle it. Today I don't have. Sometimes I see a cutting car passing by and I breathe like this. Then I don't have. I'm calm. Everything is up to date. The year 2020 was the first year that ended 
that I ended with 1,500 riz. I can say, thanks to the rich Christian, I'm at peace. I can have a much calmer financial life. Financially, I'm not a slave to finances. The debts already existed, car financing, still paying for it. So there were quite a few things there, open debts, paying for land in installments, right? So that bar where we stayed, wow. And now what are we going to do, right? And that's when I started studying. I started the course slowly and began to see the transformations, many transformations. Reduction in bills, surprisingly, I learned to do extra activities that we didn't even pay attention to before because we were in our comfort zone. So I acquired new skills and knowledge. I established an online store through the course where they educate us on the importance of continuous self-improvement, undergoing a shift in mindset, thoughts and attitudes, and constantly striving to better ourselves. And that helped a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So with each step I took within the course, I saw the changes. And in the end, it was success, total success, both material and spiritual. It was wonderful. I had some loans which were insured. And there we learned how to reduce these loans, how to pay, how to pay off these loans. And we kept practicing this exercising control. For us, it wasn't enough to do things halfway. It only served us to do it right, to do it completely. Today, I am able to sleep in peace. The complete transformation in our lives has been absolutely incredible and utterly profound. I initiated the story by discussing the debts I had, and presently, we are actively engaged in the process of making investments. My dear friend and partner in this venture, we are investors. At this moment, we were able to contribute and provide assistance to individuals in need, which is also a very impressive principle that makes a difference in people's lives. Today, I feel at peace. Today, I sleep peacefully. We still face our life's challenges. It doesn't stop. But today, I can plan, organize myself to achieve, reaching new things every day.